Rivers Dead. So normally I wash my hair every other day or every third day and yesterday made three days since I had washed my hair last and since I got a new product in my Ipsy box from February 2016 and for those of you that don't know it was in this box actually here's the box right here um, and I've got Ipsy and Birch box in that one <laughs> box. Um, so I don't usually use dry shampoo because again, I, I wash my hair every two to three days. I can actually go probably a week to two weeks without washing my hair. And finally at maybe the two week mark, it would start to show oil. So my hair is normally really dry. My scalp is dry. And this morning I put oil on my hair because it was really frizzy. This is what I normally use in my hair. And this is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny. And I use the Super Skinny and I use the, um, the, this is the serum and then this is the relaxing balm. And when I first get out of the shower, I'm almost out of this, but I use two pumps of this and one pump of this first and run that through my hair. And this is the Redken Extreme Anti-Snap and this is the Garnier Fructis Damage Eraser Split End Bandage. And then after those two, I then put in the Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Frizz, comma, dry damaged, dry unmanaged, manageable hair. This is intensely smooth leave-in conditioner cream. As you can see, as you, you know, squeeze it, it ends up leaving this nice triangular looking shape. So when I first get out, dry my hair, step one, step two, and usually these all mix step three and then I'll brush my hair and let it air dry naturally and then if I need to I'll go ahead and put this in the next morning like I did this morning there are other whew, the extreme is trying to get away on me there are other times in which my hair is like really really dry and my scalp is really dry and I'll spray this in it this is the soft and beautiful ultimate conditioning sheen spray it has olive, argan, and coconut oil in it. And um, I ran out of my other oil sheen spray that was just olive oil. And I, I saw that one. It had three different oils. I figured I'd try it. So I'm going to go ahead and take my hair down. Now, I've got really long, thick hair. I think I got all of it. Even after putting oil in it and... For several days you can see my hair doesn't look oily I'm gonna go ahead and brush my hair and I'm gonna go ahead and turn around so you can see the back of it pretty frizzy pretty thick so now I'm going to try this product by chlorine and it is the dry shampoo with oat milk it says gentle formula all hair types cleans hair without water and then on the back since most of it's in French because this is a French company it says directions for use shake well before use and spray evenly 10 inches away from hair focus at the roots of oh, focusing at the roots leave on for two minutes and then brush hair thoroughly until the powder is removed now I've used a a couple of different ones because this I swear I must have five or six of these little tester sizes and give it a shake and then this is 10 inches away but how are you supposed to focus on the scalp so instead of leaving in the voice that was there because I sped it up what I'm doing is I'm sectioning my hair by every half an inch to an inch and then spraying it on my scalp but as you can see the Dry shampoo is leaving my hair with this like white powdery finish and um, it does smell nice but 
I, I don't care for the fact that it leaves this white mark on my hair where I'm spraying it. And it, you know, when you look at the website, it says that it's not supposed to, but I mean, it literally looks like I'm spraying some sort of like hairspray in my hair that has a white tint to it to, you know, color your hair for say Halloween. The fragrance is nice and it doesn't transfer onto my hands as I'm like spraying it into my, my hair. And I did section my hair through, you know, throughout, and then I go ahead and I start brushing it through once I get done spraying it through the rest of the back of my head. I did notice that while putting this in, you know, it, my hair felt like tacky at some points, but you could also feel the powder and it ended up leaving a white coating in my brush from whatever the product is that I just put in my hair. When I brushed my hair through, you could see the white powder build up onto the actual black of black part of the brush, which is a little concerning. I ended up having to wash my brush, but the powder did die down a little bit once I brushed it through. One thing I want to know is why I keep having knots. I mean, normally once I brush my hair, I don't get knots like that, but my strip here and a white strip here. I don't know if you can tell. Made my hair look weird. that's still in my hair. Feel it with my fingers and like I said my just fell out. It's all you like the uh, gray ones. Hey guys, it's Rebecca again, and I just got out of the shower, and I have towel dried my hair and brushed it out, and I wanted to show you the um, the amount of hair that I lost in using this product was double what I normally have, and yes, granted, it had been um, four days since I had washed my hair. But I did brush my hair before I got in the shower thoroughly and made sure, you know, there's no hair falling out, that kind of stuff. So washing my hair shouldn't have done anything um, to cause my hair to fall out more. But the other thing is, um, I noticed that my hair, not only the first time, but the second time I washed my hair, because I usually wash my hair twice, and I use conditioner twice on my hair, and it is dry and frizzy now where my hair normally wouldn't look like this until two days after I had washed my hair is really unusual and you can see the majority of my hair is still really wet which is crazy that one product can do that much damage to my hair and dry it out and it's supposed to have oat in it and milk and all this other stuff that's supposed to be good for your hair but I mean just looking at it now it's really dry even on the ends 
and that's unusual even after putting product in it my leave-in moisturizers and everything so but thankfully my scalp is clean it was a little red when i first got out of the shower which i guess is understandable because it hadn't been washed in a few days mm -hmm. but just wanted to come in and say that but my hair finally feels clean which is nice it doesn't feel like i put talcum powder in my hair which if i had known that's what that was going to do to my hair i literally would have just put talcum powder in it i mean i used to work in a salon this is what we used for dry shampoo on ladies that couldn't get hair their hair wet due to um, surgery or scars or cancer and stuff like that is we would use a combination of alcohol and talcum powder to um, get their hair clean enough for us to still style it for the week but i don't know i'm uh, kind of disappointed in this product and now i've actually felt my hair tie and it feels like the powder is all over it so now i have to wash my hair tie which normally you know i wash them once a week um, you know, if I use the same hair tie for a week, I wash it once a week. If I interchange between, you know, multiple hair ties, I usually tip to a Q-tip without the other end. Um, if I switch around and use different, you know, different hair ties, then I don't have to worry about washing them as often. That's why I've got a drawer of four there, and then I've got another drawer that's got probably 20 of them already washed, just waiting to use. But... I don't know, I'm just not happy with how my hair turned out and how it looks, how dry it feels, and the amount of shampoo that it took to get that product out of my hair. And normally, you know, one shampoo should have sufficed, but two to get it fully out of my hair, that's gross. Really gross. And people that use this stuff all the time, I mean, I don't know how long you wait after using it to wash your hair, whether it's, you know, one day, two days, three days. I don't know. I've never really used a dry shampoo, but... I'm still really disappointed in in this, so that just isn't for me. So just my two cents. Anyways, I'm going to go finish getting ready for bed, and I will see you guys later. Bye.